Hey y'all, today we're gonna make hot crab dip in our slow cooker. Oh, while having a whole lot of fun. Check that out. Hot crab dip, y'all. Hi, welcome back to another edition of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the good old boy. And Aunt Lou. And we're cooking another dish from RecipesThatCrock.com. Today, we're gonna make ourselves a little hot crab dip. <laughs> and it's going to be good. I am a freak over seafood. I don't care if it's imitation crab, real crab. Uh, I've never had imitation shrimp, but I like real shrimp. I like <laughs> big shrimp, little shrimp, boiled oh shrimp, Lord. fried shrimp. We're not doing shrimp today. We're going to no. do a little crab dip. We're going to use what is known as a Japanese word called surimi. And it's imitation crab is all it is. Sometimes they spell it K-R-A-B. Oh. And that's what this is. Right here, crab. You could probably get away with using real crab if you want to, but 16 ounces of real crab is probably going to cost you a small tuition at college. <laughs> so we go with the surimi right here, and I've had it before, and it's really good. I don't know that I've had this one. Oh, I hope this is the one that Chris made, right? Or is this mine? No, this is yours. Oh, then this I've is had another this before, too, recipe. I was going to say, really she says, I don't know if I have one. You brought the blog post. <laughs> I have had it and it's super yummy. This is like one of them party dishes where you're like, oh, I need to make something quick for a party. Mm -hmm. Now, we say quick for a party. If you read the blog post, it says that you want to cook this for two hours on high and stir it halfway through, which is an hour through. I'm going to show you a little trick that makes it a little quicker. A little movie magic for you, but first we're going to tell you what's in it. Hey, Lou, what's in it? Crab. Yes, that is 16 ounces of chopped up imitation crab meat. Cream cheese. That is two bricks of cubed cream cheese. Chives. That is two tablespoons. Actually, it's a little over two tablespoons of chives because we're going to reserve some for the end because you always have your reservations. Oh, yeah. What's that? Butter. That is one stick of butter, one half cup that has been sliced up. Right here, we just call it Shire sauce. That is two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Shire sauce around here. And all you do, it's real, really difficult to put this it together. Is. You take your biggest bowl and you put the other bowls in it. Well, you don't put the bowls in it, but you put the contents of the other bowls in it. And something tells me I should have got a bigger bowl. And I just went ahead and put the rest of those chives in there. Oops. Uh -oh. I have to chop up some more for the garnish. That's it. Now you want to do is I would get a rigid spoon. I'm going to use like a And I'm going to stir it up. Just to kind of let all the folks in the party get together, get to know each other, let the butter meet the cream cheese because they're kind of related, you know, <laughs> they might have come from the same cow. Let the crab get to know the chives, let the chives let, get to know the Worcestershire sauce. Don't let sauce. anybody feel left out. No, because this is a party dip, so you won't let the party go right here. Yeah, maybe. You know what? I bet a mix and chop would have worked out good if I didn't uh, have that. Yep. But I don't think it has so to be if like you have some super done. Sort of brand of mix and chop. It'd yeah, work. a mix and chop, a zing, a, I don't know, maybe a spoon in your fingers. That's what I'm using. <laughs> but just to kind of get it all together, and then when you kind of kind of got her sort of mixed up, something like that, and it looks like a big old mess, like I'm making. A big old hot mess. Then you well, better decide mess. you better put it in your. We're we're gonna use our. I think this is a. It's this big, <laughs> crock pot. Maybe two. You don't need two nothing pounds? great big. Yep. But all you're going to do, I'm going to let Aunt Lou do it because she's a lot more nimble than me. And I'm going to lick my fingers. Put that in there. Just like that. Ooh. You can taste some chives. Now, we're going to pop that in the slow cooker. And if you want to, like you've got other things you got to do and you don't want to tend to this really too much, then all you want to do Ooh. is put it on high, set a timer, and in an hour, stir it up and then let it cook for another hour. And all you're doing is letting all that cream cheese and butter melt in to that crab. Or you could do this right here. It's a secret. I'm going to put that in my microwave and I'm going to set that for, oh, let's go for a minute. And we're just going to heat it up like that. And then what you can do is, that, like, say you forgot you were supposed to make this hot crab dip for a party, then you Heat it up real quick and stir it up real good in your microwave. Well, get out of your microwave first before you stir it up. Don't let it be cooking. And then put it on low here or if you've got something that has a warm feature. And then you can say, you slaved over a hot crock pot for two hours with this hot crab dip when actually all you did was put it in your microwave. We still have like 30 seconds, so instead we're just going to do this. 
Boom, just like that, we slay for two whole hours over <laughs> this slow cooker recipe. Now, you and I both know the secret. What we did is we put it in the microwave. I went for about a minute just to heat up the butter and the cream cheese, and I gave her a stir, and then I went every 30 seconds and until this was, well, like this. So it looked like this. All creamy. Let me grab a spoon and show you all that. Look at that. Creamy. All the cream cheese and butter has melted. It let the chives kind of heat up, marry up with the Shire sauce. And then there it is, y'all. Hot crab dip. Now you want to put this on warm. Uh, this one only goes on low, so I'd make sure if I was at a party and this is what I was bringing, that I would stir it every once in a while, maybe shut it off every mm -hmm. once in a while, because you just want it to be warm when people have it. You don't want it to be burnt on the bottom. Yeah. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to take enough to fill this cute little ramekin we got. Is that how you say that word? Ramekin? That's how I say it. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take me some chives and so put on top. Cool. Here, we'll do that and make sure we got a good pretty shot here. It has to be pretty. Check that out. Hot crab dip, y'all. Yummy, yummy. And now for the taste test. Now, Ooh. you could use Melba toast, you could use crackers or whatever. Mm -hmm. Now, the surimi does have some sugar in it. Uh, so what I want to do is to cut the carbs on it, if I'm going to have something like this, like right now for the video with you guys and really try to stay strict with the low carb thing that we're doing around here, is if you all saw a few weeks back, we did this recipe for pepperoni chips in the air fryer. I haven't got and to try it. you haven't yet, tried so this. So super excited to try it. Just like a chip, they'll probably break because just like chips do. But mm -hmm. get yourself something like that. Yep, yeah, it broke. Mmm, yummy. Pepperoni. Holy moly. Mmm, mmm. Darn flies around here. Mmm. That's really good with pepperoni, isn't it? Yeah, it does. Here, let's come up here and show my friends. He wants to come see y'all. Okay. So you got your pepperoni chip, keeps it a little more low carb. Got some chives there on top. That's more for garnish, gives a little bit of flavor, makes it look pretty. But then you got all that cream cheese and butters melted in. And if you actually do this for the two hours you're, that we talk about in the blog post, all those flavors are gonna soak in even more. But if you need something quick and easy, pop it in the microwave and then use your slow cooker as a warmer to keep this going for the party all night long or for at least 10 minutes before everybody eats it up. And then you get this. Everybody's going to make this face right here. Well, not this face. This face is mine, but this is the face I'll make at your party. I'm still waiting on man bite. That's hot crab dip. I am. That's how we do it around here. Sometimes it's quick and it's easy. It's always going to be good. Uh -huh. If you like what you're seeing here and you think it's good, give us a thumbs up down below. Also, if you haven't become a member of the Croc Posse, what do they do? They click the subscribe button to join our Croc Posse. This little, little red button down there says subscribe. Click it and welcome to the growing family known as the Croc Posse. Mm -hmm. Also, click that little bell we call the ding -ling. And that will let you know as soon as we put up a new video and you're going to see them all the time. And y'all, whatever you do, my fault. Eat good food. And speak life. Bye. All right, I'm going to go for a dip. Mm. If you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're funny, enough to send us money, click the Patreon link below.